Hey everybody, Last Outrider here, bringing you another exciting Eternal Crusade update by popular demand. This time we're going to be talking about the finances of the game. And we're going to be comparing Eternal Crusade to Planetside 2. During this time, I will explain to you the difference between what a free-to-play game is and what a buy-to-play game is. Eternal Crusade is a buy-to-play game. It means you don't get access to the full game unless you buy it. It's just that simple. So I invite everybody to go to eternalcrusade.com click on their join the war tab at the top it's in the upper left and you will be brought to uh, a section on your founders packs where you will see that there are six different choices the prices here will range from the pioneer pack for fifteen dollars to the xenos pack for four hundred and fifty dollars yes they apparently just start doubling in, in prices. So let's look at the real difference between these packs, okay? Now, first I'm going to compare it again to Planet Side 2 because so many people love doing that. Planet Side 2 is free to play. That means you create an account, you download the game, and you have full and complete access to everything in the game. You can get every item in the game in Planet Side 2 with certification points. If you don't know what that is, it's just their in-game currency. Uh, their pay-for currency, I believe, is uh, the DC, which is um, Daybreak Cash, which would be, would be the equivalent to Rogue Trader points. Now, in Rogue Trader, I'm going back to the website, if you buy the Pioneer Pack. If you go to the website now, I'll try, to, I'll try to put up a screenshot on the video. You will see that the first line says Game Key. It says Game Key. It's right there. And with a little asterisk. For now, Founders Packs will only be for PC and Mac versions of the game. Okay. So Founders Packs will only be for PC and Mac version of the game. Got it. But if you look at the Pioneer Pack for $15, which was everybody's talking about if you're going to do the free to WOG, there's no game key. If you pay, give them $15, you still will not get full access to the game. You will only get one character slot and 15,000 Rogue Trader points. Now, this is really really pretty amazing in this day and age where you can buy games for a dollar five dollars you give behavior interactive you give these people fifteen dollars US and you don't get full access to the game you get wow I, I hate to think what the free account would be you get one orc slot one character slot that must be an orc and 15,000 rogue trader points. You do not get pre-game launch access. You do not get early game module access. You don't get to reserve a guild name. You don't get any limited edition emblem. You don't get limited edition banner. You don't get limited edition relic items. For $15, what are you buying? You're literally paying $15 for a demo account. I've never seen that before. To get full access to this game, you need to pay $40. Which means that even if you buy the Pioneer Pack to get a game key, you're going to end up spending forty dollars so the minimum you're looking at spending on this game is going to be sixty five dollars I'll repeat it you want to play Eternal Crusade you will pay sixty five dollars 
<laughs> now let's let's go look quickly at their the uh, uh, the founders access or early access or whatever they're going to end up calling it in the fall. Let's see what you actually have to do to get into that. Fifteen dollars won't get it for you. Uh, Forty dollars doesn't even get it for you. Four hundred and fifty dollars will not get you early access to the game. No, my friend, I'm sorry. Early access to the game is first come, first serve. And we don't know how many there will be. So you could have spent $450. And if you sleep late on that early access opening day, you won't get in. Now, they do even it out a little bit, if you want to think of it that way in that they're going to release the early access in waves. If you spent between $120 US to $450 US, you will be given uh, first wave access. It will still be first come, first serve. So those people who paid $120, they might beat out those 450 people game next will be $80 for the sergeant pack and you will be in the second wave to be given access so maybe there'll be like a three-day delay and the first day first 24 hours is you know captain's pack and above second 48 hours is is sergeant's pack and the third wave which is going to be the warrior's pack for $40. You spend $40 on this game and you're going to be in the third wave to get early access. What are your odds of getting it? How do you even calculate your chances of getting in to early access at this point looking at this information? It's not guaranteed. You could spend all this money here and find out whenever early access comes out that you simply didn't get a spot, even if you spent $450. And for you $15 people, <laughs> you can just piss off and die. <clears throat> this is the most insane pricing I've ever seen in any game. And it's, it's so, like I said about everything else that I've been noticing, it's so underhanded and twisted and unfair. And most people, are you really not going to see this? In fact, you know, I'm really looking at this right now. What's the difference between a captain's pack for for $120 and a Xenos pack for $450? The, the real difference between them, other than the price, is is that you get the extra amount of rogue trader points for the amount of money that you spent. Yeah, you're going to get, you know, 460,000 rogue trader points plus a 25% bonus. Well, the captain's pack is going to get, you know, 120,000 rogue traders points plus a 25% bonus. So really, the only difference between the two is the more is none. Really, it's none because you can buy those rogue trader points just by cash. Any time you're not getting any difference. <clears throat> Sorry. The last thing that I that I notice about this is the gift cards. Um, you know, you can buy just points in a store, just buy rogue trader points on a gift card or a pay card or whatever they they call it. Most games give you um a bonus, right? usually at a $25 level. That's the most common one for people to buy. After that, you start getting a bonus, a 5% bonus, 10% bonus to whatever to, to, to whatever you bought. Uh, not, not, not an eternal crusade. No, no, no. You, you can spend $40. You get no bonus. Your bonuses of 15% won't start until you spend $80. And that only occurs when you buy a pack. If you go just straight to the uh, gift card section, uh, there's no bonuses at all. It, you seriously go look, go to go to. I, I think it's in the Rogue Store. Or is it the is it the Point Bundles? Yeah. Mm, oh, I'm sorry. 
there's point bundles and there's gift cards so your point bundles you can get a 5% bonus starting at $15 okay but they won't give you that bonus if you buy the pioneer pack and they won't give you that bonus if you go to add-ons and buy the $50 or $25 or $10 gift vouchers they get no bonuses at all so if you buy point bundles you get but it's strange it's just strange to me I don't know maybe like I said if you guys still think this is going to be the greatest game to ever exist go for it give them four hundred and fifty dollars enjoy um, my answer is still the same wait and see uh, at this point in time I'm, I'm fairly certain the game is going to come out uh, because you know the change in management and the structure of the company means they have more resources so they're going to release something no matter what it's going to come out now I believe what it's going to be I don't know I'm just talking about this pricing system which um enjoy until next time bye hmm.